During inflammation, white blood cells can release a number of components which cause a vasodilation of blood vessels. This brings more blood flow into an area and this will improve the body's response since white blood cells come into the area to fight infection, more blood reaches the area which will allow it to heal faster, etc. Pus can be associated with inflammation because as white blood cells perform phagocytosis, uh, for example, neutrophils at a certain point may burst their lysosomes, killing the neutrophil itself and all of the microbes that it has ingested. So this contributes to the debris in the pus of a wound. Many white blood cells can release substances which inform the hypothalamus that there is an infection, and the hypothalamus then raises the body's temperature, producing a fever. So all of these are uh, immune defenses which can be associated with inflammation.